Victor, who has been following up on this particular case since its inception. Grace Courier, we spoke earlier. We informed us that Charles Jaguar has just been arrested by police officers. Any more information in regards to what he mentioned and the appropriate action the authorities took? <laughs> Well, Jesse, from the last time we spoke, the situation has turned chaotic here at the Nairobi area police station. We're actually at the Flying Squad headquarters. And actually, I don't even know whether you can hear me correctly, um, Jesse, because there's a crowd here, of course, in support of uh, this Tarahe member of parliament, Charles Jaguar, Charles Canyon Jaguar, alias Jaguar, whom, as you rightly said, Jesse, has been brought here at the Nairobi area police station. I do hope, Jesse, that you can hear me. But actually, before I even give you a background, I'm here with uh, some of the leaders who've come in solidarity with him. Nixon Kareel, the Langata Member of Parliament, uh, Moses Kuria, Gatundu South Member of Parliament. But we understand that they have been denied access to see him or to be with the MP. So let me just speak to them and get their sentiments. Wow. Nashimeva uh, could speak to you to Eleza Tui Aliodiri when you came here and uh, why they've denied you access to see the Member of Parliament. So we've just come here. Uh, as members of parliament, as colleagues of uh, Abu Jaguar. And to our surprise, when we are about to see him, we've been tear gassed, we've been chased, uh, and even some live bullets have been aimed in our direction. So we are really surprised because uh, what uh, Abu Jaguar is saying is exactly the same thing as Honorable C.S. Matiani has said about the people coming from China, they are manufacturers from China, and they are... No peace, no Jaguar, no peace. It is, it is the same thing, that the same directive that, uh, that uh, C.S. Matiani has talked about. You know, we are not, Honorable Jaguar is not saying anything, even one centimeter different from the state government policy. The state government policy is that we should not have people coming from China, manufacturers, people with big factories in China coming to compete with our people on doing business at the hawking level and the retail level. It's unacceptable. So I want to say to the government, today we have been fed with tear gas and we have smelled the smell of tear gas. But the smell of revolution in this country is much stronger than the smell of tear gas that we have taken here today. Uh, we've come here to see our colleague Jaguar, uh, 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 who has been arrested today, and we want to say we are really disappointed because we came here to see him. We are not saying uh, we have any problem and we don't have any issue, but we have come here and we have denied access without any reason. We've just been told that there are some orders from above who have said that we should not see Jaguar. We, we are wondering what they want to do with him. And what we are saying is that uh, Matiang himself said, those foreigners who are here, who have come here, without some of them, without uh, proper papers, those who are coming here to do jobs that Kenyans can do, should be deported. And Matang himself was giving a statement the other day saying some of the foreigners have been deported. Jaguar was just reinforcing what the CS said, that foreigners, Chinese, cannot become, cannot come to this country and become hawkers. We are not, what we are saying, foreigners cannot come here and do jobs that Kenyans can do. Then, wh why is the government saying that they have created jobs for you? We are saying there are thousands of young people who don't have jobs here and we are helping foreigners who are coming who are here already here doing small jobs that every Kenyan can do that don't even need skills what is Kenya doing to protect its citizens what we are saying we cannot be slaves in our country and we are telling the government we are not going to accept we are not going to be intimidated as parliament we are going to stand our ground and we will stand with Jaguar and we will stand with Kenyans and the traders in this country they can do whatever they want they can shoot us they can kill us but we will stand with the traders the crowd would come down a bit, but so that the, you know the words been used against him are really strong. Xenophobic, uh, you know, uh, remarks that could cause xenophobic attacks. That is what it's been used against him. And uh, in fact, today we saw the uh, Tanzanian Parliament summon the Kenya High Commissioner to Dar. I don't know what are your sentiments in regard. It, it, it depends on the interpretation of the person who listened. Jago was just saying I was there when Jago said the CSA is, is claiming to have deported six Chinese. What we are saying is there are thousands and thousands of people who are here illegally who need to be deported and they need to be stopped from doing the jobs that Kenyans can do. Is that xenophobic? Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, remarks there of, uh, you know, Langata, Member of Parliament, and the Gatunu South Member of Parliament, and we have the MCA here. But, sir, just keep it strict to why, you know, you've been denied access inside. Let us not choose, you know, any form of uh, hate. Uh, William Gepeda Kusema, uh, 
biashara imezorota sana CBD. Mimi ni kuwakilisha mambo ya nyama kema, kabukuji, biashara imezorota kabisa. Tumekuja hapa kuchukua mheshimiwa wetu Jagua na tumekatazwa. Na... All right, all that in the line of duty, just to get you that particular story. Grace Korea, many thanks. Uh, we surely hope you are well and safe. Um, let's just cross over back and listen in as they continue giving their sentiments. Oh. Well, uh, Jesse, wow, oh my goodness. Woo, Jesus, no, you. <laughs> Lord of wonders. Oh my goodness, Jesse, you can see it on your screen there. Wow, wow, my goodness. <laughs> this has been the situation, Jesse, for the past like 30 minutes now. You know, tear gas canisters have been fired here. Uh, and as I've been telling you, Jesse, this is in regard to the arrest of the Stareha member of parliament who is currently behind the closed gates here at the Nairobi area police station. Whoa, uh, the flying squad. <coughs> headquarters and remember that earlier on hey just say this is this is a bit too much <coughs> but of course we will be getting more in regard to this we will be here <sighs> all right wow. Gra grace we can chopped, we can get the pictures clearly we just is urge you to stay safe kindly <laughs> Um, even as we continue following up on the latest oh. update. So kindly just stay safe um, and perhaps get a glass of water. Paul Lesana. All right, our reporter Grace Courier right there in the thick of it, even as police officers right there at the Nairobi area police station dispersed the crowd that had gathered um, actually in support of the Starehe member of parliament, Charles Njagwa Kanye, who has been arrested by DCI officers rather at parliament buildings over the term of the utterances he made in terms of inciting remarks against foreign traders. We'll definitely continue following up on that and we'll keep you updated. Now, the Kenyan government has distanced itself from comments by the Starehe Member of Parliament, um, Charles Njagwa